Jenna. So I just wanted to make a really super quick update. I'm sorry for the background and the webcam. Obviously, this is not how I normally record, but things are in a bit of an uproar here right now, and I will explain why in a minute. I wanted to share, I got second breakfast here. Yay, it's just, you got you can see I got some fresh chives um, from my back herb garden that I have, and, um, I just chopped up a potato and I fried it up and then I had leftovers because I made Philly cheesesteaks last night for dinner. So um, we had leftover um, filling for the cheesesteak sandwiches, cheesesteak sandwiches. Okay, so it was mushrooms and then we had um, as like the steak and then we had, um, what did I put in it? Red pepper, green pepper, onion, and then it had a mozzarella, uh, vegan mozzarella sauce. Do I really have to say vegan for everything? You guys know. You guys know. So anyway, I just put some of that leftover stuff in with the potatoes and then fried it up and it was really good. Um, so I've got that. I've got my Earl Grey tea and I am ready to go for the day. And I thought I would start it off by sharing with you guys what's been going on the last couple of weeks and where have I been? <laughs> so um, first off, last not this last Saturday, actually it was two weeks ago now. I want to say maybe two weeks ago, I was in the emergency room um, because I had this pain in my side because silly me, I went to this really cool like climbing park and I kind of overdid it. I was trying to do stuff with Maya and I was trying to like climb ropes and do things that I am just frankly out of shape to do right now. And although one day I would love to get there again, um, I'm not there yet. So thanks to that, I somehow twisted something inside and... Uh, it was causing pain. So I went to the ER. Um, that's what they told me as I had some twisted things going on. Um, however, they also thought that there was a very slim possibility that I might have diverticulitis, which is like, I eat super high fiber diet. So if I do, it would be damaged from pre-vegan times. And um, they put, basically, they put me on, what do they say, like precautionary antibiotics. Now, I know better now because I should have known better and just said no, but they put me on like a double dose and it tore me up. And for the last, for like the whole week I was on them, I was super, super sick. I wasn't feeling great. I was barely eating and they, I had to eat a low fiber diet. So basically all the stuff that I don't normally have in my house, like white rice and white bread and white pasta. And, um, I just don't put, have this stuff usually potatoes I have, but um, stuff like that. I couldn't have cooked vegetable or no, I could have cooked vegetables. I couldn't have raw vegetables, which was really hard. I never wanted salad so bad in my life. <laughs> um, I guess I just didn't realize how healthy I was eating, I guess, until I wasn't allowed to eat all of the healthy food that I would normally eat. Um, it was not a happy week. And so this week has been all recovery on um, this last week. Uh, and now a week after that, I am starting to finally be normal again. The second I started eating regularly again, I felt a hundred times better. I went to see my regular doctor and she agrees with me. She thinks that the slim, it's like slim to none possibility that that is even the issue. Uh, so that's good news. I do see a GI specialist soon, but I don't really, I really truly don't believe that's the problem. So she was like, just go about your day, eat your normal diet, do what you do. Don't even worry about it. So I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, but that was the kind of the craziness and why I've been so slow on posting lately. That plus <laughs> I have the added bonus of finding out that we are actually moving back to the United States. Um, so if there's anything that you guys want to know about how to move from Germany to the United States or what that process might look like, uh, let me know in the comments below and I will see what I can answer for you. Uh, obviously my husband's job is moving us. So that is the perk of it. Like we don't have to set that part of it up, but of course we do have to still have the movers come do inspection. We have two move, um, dates. They do one shipment that is the large bulk of our household, um, things. And then they do another shipment that is just a tiny amount of our household things that we, we might want a little bit faster. And of course we are limited um, to a certain amount of weight per shipment. Um, what else? We have cleaners coming in to inspect to see how much it's going to be to have them come in and clean for us, which I will say I've never had done for all the moving we've ever done. I've always cleaned, um, the house and whatnot after the movers come, 
but because we're in limbo, we won't have furniture. We're going to be, you know, without cars basically because our cars have to ship back and that takes a couple months. So we're, we're doing all of this very early. We don't actually move until late summer and or midsummer or whatever, but our things go much sooner than we do. So I basically have two weeks to prep this house for the first round of movers to come. And I know that that's very early, but that is just how it works. So we are in a little bit more of a chaotic state right now than we normally are. Maya still has her preschool and her dance classes and whatnot going on. Um, we still have our normal routine stuff that's happening, but now I have to add in getting ready for moving. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the chaos state of it. That's news. That's what I was talking about in my last video. So I will keep you guys updated. Um, I am going to try to upload some videos before they take my main computer, because I'm going to be honest, the laptop I have is really old and very broken, and I'm not sure it's going to cut it to edit videos on. So we will see. I will try to do videos um, like I normally do and keep them up to date, but I might be doing some pre-recorded stuff for you guys just so you have something in the meantime. Um, and I will say probably the most disappointing thing from this whole move is that, well, other than I'm leaving Germany and I absolutely love it here, um, <laughs> is that we were planning this summer, Maya and I, we were planning on, um, planting this big garden in our backyard. We found out that we were moving right before I was going to start seeds. So I guess that in a way it was good timing. Uh, I would have been really disappointed had I planted all those starter seeds and then had nowhere to plant them and not the ability to take them with us. Um, so I have a bunch of seed packets I get to take back to the, the States with me, I guess. But uh, if they even allow me to do that, we will see because they are picky about that kind of stuff. Um, where we live now, we're not allowed to actually plant anything in the ground. So the plan was to build raised um, garden beds and put them kind of in our mulch like bush area in the back. Um, not over the grass because again, we, we are responsible obviously for keeping everything the way it was when we moved in and not changing anything drastically in that manner and keeping it nice. So I didn't want to have to deal with dead grass patches. I do currently have, like I said, I got these tries out of my backyard. Um, I do have some, some smaller planter things that I have some herbs in for right now, but that's the extent of it. I have my strawberries from last year and, um, like a flower box in the back and they survived over the winter. Um, so I don't know if we're going to be around to see them come to fruition, but, uh, I can't plant any more than that because all of the stuff I have will be going to an awesome neighbor who has, um, a green thumb of her own and then has, she's amazing with plants. So actually she'll probably make them thrive much better than I would have, but yeah, that's the plan. So now that we're moving or in search of a place to stay, um, it's going to be in Tornado Alley. That's all I will share. So this is a very new experience. I've never lived in an area that gets tornadoes seasonally. Uh, I mean, in Ohio, but it was nothing like Tornado Alley. So uh, we'll be sharing lots of adventures to come um, and all of that. I might give you a house tour before we leave um, to see what this house looked like. So that will be coming up. And like I said, if you want to see anything else, just let me know. I hope you guys are having a great week, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Is there anything you want to tell them? No. How was breakfast? Good. Good. What did you have? To scramble. The scramble. Tofu scramble? The scramble. Yeah. I just like scramble. You just like scramble, yeah. I had a little bit of scramble. This is second breakfast for me. She didn't want any of this stuff, so um, I made her a huge plate, and I just had a little bit of hers. So, all right, we good? Okay, so that's kind of the update, guys. Um, nothing. I love you. Aw, you're so sweet. I love you too. Um, um, nothing huge going on beyond that, but that's kind of enough because we have to get our dog prep to go. Um, I got to get the house clean. We have inspectors coming and all of that. Wait, not wait for it. Wait for it. It's not time yet. So, oh, look at those nails. I need to redo your nails too. <laughs> and mine. I have naked nails right now, which is like nor not normal at all. I have not me. naked nails. No, you've got, you've got some polish on yours, don't you? Well, can I paint my nails? Can you paint your nails? Yeah, we can paint your nails here in just a minute. Is that the color you want? 
Okay, Maya's choice today is, can I show them? This beauty. I don't know if you can even, let's see if I can get it to focus. This is a holographic. It was a special. This one's called Showtime. And it is really pretty. It's like a purple holographic one. Is that the one you want? Yes. Okay. It gets for the staircase. No, nope, you're going to keep that up here. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. That's the update. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.